This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on Tuesday, the 3rd of October, our second trading day of October. And uh, we're looking at the Dow down 144, 33,285. What's fascinating about the yesterday's action, what was fascinating, was that the semiconductors had some strength, and that's usually a good sign, but the market just couldn't hold again. And this morning we had early weakness, then there was a rally, and the Chapman Wave methodology, when you get to that fourth highest peak, you've got to be real careful. That's labeled D, A is the first, B is the second, peak C is the third, fourth is the uh, peak D. There we are, peak D in the one-minute chart, second peak D since we got that low back in at about 8.50 this morning. And now I have to put a down arrow. Let's see what happens after this because there's a lot of pressure, but we're getting so close to areas of resistance and support. I'll go through them in my Tiger Technician's Hour coming up in a few moments. So we've got the S&P. S&P is down 21. Uh, right on the 200 period moving average for five sessions now, actually six sessions. Let's see if it can hold. Let's see if that can be a bounce off point. Q, Q, Q. Oh, and look at this. The weekly chart has started in S, which means that the nine period moving average has crossed negative, but it's a, a weekly candle. We have to wait until Friday at four o'clock. Whew, going to be an interesting week. The um, Q, Q, Q uh, down to at 359. And look at this, the weekly chart's so close to turning negative, but it hasn't yet. IWM has quite a, for about a couple of weeks now. Very poor action down a dollar and a quarter at 172. Now, this is going to be very important. Gold, <clears throat> we can gain today down 10 at 18.30. It's just been a, a, a waterfall cascade since the 1950 area. Here we are at 18.38. <clears throat> How it stops is going to be important because the dollar is bumping into an area where there should be some resistance. It's got maybe just a little bit more to go. It's at 107.14 up 12 ticks. We, I should mention we are long, but that's not the point. The point is that the 9 is still way over the 14, and that's really positive. Look at crude oil. <clears throat> crude oil is up again, but it's actually made a peak that it might be a, a short-term peak of consequence. Hey, we've got to look at the TLT. The TLT cascaded to the downside. And again today, down 82 ticks at 86.13. Yields are going higher. Basil Chapman, be back for the Tiger Technician's Hour. Check out my opening call, Daily